All right, birthday boy, you got the whole turkey leg. <laughs> hey! Hey, what's up, you guys? So I'm coming to you with another video, and today we're eating at Winky Hong Kong barbecue and noodle, and we'll just go ahead and check it out. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch, Maverick Mitch, hey Mitch, Mitch, all the Mitches, and pretty much I like talking about what I talk about. So, TV movie reviews and pop culture, so entertainment, culture, and purpose, so everything I talk about is everything that I like talking about. So, be sure to check out those videos as you are finishing this video. Hey, what's up? So I got the chef special, the beef noodle, which I saw on Facebook. Um, I saw some friends do it, so I had to get that. I also got the milk tea here. We got the duck. Um, also, you have to order it ahead of time so they can prepare it because they do run out. So um, Jen got the. Do you want some like barbecue, some like honey barbecue, uh, pork barbecue seasoning, and like I think beef, but all of it is super flavorful. It's really good. Char, what do you get? I got the uh, spicy chive with the wonton. It's really good. Uh, this place is really cool because they try to make it kind of like a street type of thing um, in an atmosphere. So kind of like you're eating in Hong Kong in the street and everything like street food. So it really, it's like awesome food and awesome decor. I really enjoy it and really think this place is really awesome. So I'm back in my place and you know just tonight was just a pretty chill night. It is my birthday weekend so happy birthday me. What what 10 10 and happy birthday Naruto you know <laughs> it's his birthday too. But the you know again chill night eating at a, a beef and noodle place as well as having boba right after and everything and obviously hanging out with friends. And so that was very cool and if anything this video cut will kind of just serve as it upon recording and upon releasing this video this would be day 26 on my 30 day challenge but actually uploaded early earlier or at least I uploaded more videos than the previously 30 so it has been more like of a week really of uploading videos so obviously this this update should be served more on the 25th video but we're just gonna do it now because why not? So, again, uploading every night, and I was talking this with um, Jen and, and Charlene, and so, you know, it, it is super crazy, like, to upload every day. I'm at, like, my, at my point in which, you know, am I, can I create content uh, every day, you know? At what point are you creating content in which are you just putting out content, or can you actually develop good content each and every day and so obviously the, like when I did my uh, COVID chronicles there were videos that was whatever's so I, I understand that process right and so with this process I think the only takeaway from you guys and if you're a new YouTuber is that you know while this challenge is very difficult because it is like I was telling my friends um, I was telling Jelly and, and Char you know like yeah I had to really schedule my days really like solid you know like work work out, eat, film, um, film, record, film, edit, and upload. Like, even those are like a three hour block. And so I really need to be on my point as far as time management, as far as doing all of this. And so, somewhat of the benefits already, I'm, I'm like on top of me 
uploading and doing the work and advertising my videos, I have seen an uptick in my videos. It, again, this it this whole 30 day challenge is not just to challenge myself, but it also to develop my channel and um, improve my algorithm. And so right now, I'm, I'm seeing a, a slight uptick, but again, it, that could be a combination of me advertising in different websites not really websites, in Facebook groups that I put my videos in. And so it could be a combination of things, but definitely having content each day is helping. But it is definitely a, a I wouldn't say a setback, but it is a challenge to do it every day. And so, um, again, this whole week just kind of like puts you in a situation in which, okay, you got a flow of things as long as you, you can keep it up and, and all that stuff. And so, yeah, I think... It, there's good and bads with it, but I was telling them like, dude, this is something that I would not want to do past 30 days, uploading a video every day. Um, again, I'm 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 cal like I'm up to the wire each night as far as so far as far as developing content, rec recording and uploading the next following day type thing. And so, it is it it's definitely hard, but you know, we'll see how much this pays off at the end. Uh, maybe I'll hit 500 before before um, even by the end of this so if if I do that that's already great because hitting 500 by December which was gonna uh, like I already hit my goal of 400 and so like if I can hit 500 by December that would be great so yeah I think that's kinda cool um, if anything um, the last portion of this video is just me unboxing up um, some shoes I bought from Aldo so I'll go ahead and do that for the closing of this video Again, uh, wrapping it up, thanks for watching. I hope that was a kind of good insight, especially if you're a new YouTuber and you and somehow you're catching on to this um, particular episode. But yeah, like definitely doing the 30-day challenge is a challenge, right? But hopefully um, it will improve your craft, like increase your like level of craft because you're producing videos on the concept and you should know how to do it not only seamlessly, more effectively, but you know your rhythm. And so I think that's another takeaway from this. So again, stick around for the rest of the video. I will be doing an unboxing of some shoes I bought from Aldo. It's, I don't know which shoes it was. I bought like three pairs and it was all in clearance. I, I don't have the money for that, but like um, either sneakers, loafers, or a high top. So uh, we'll figure out what it is today, right now. <laughs> and so again, if you're new to my channel, you can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMageMitch. You can follow my joint Instagram at It's Mandatory Fun, where I do other videos with my friend Jen. I'm also on Parlor, Maverick Mitch. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next video. Peace, peace, peace be with you. These skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night?